hello and welcome to my channel today i will show you how to remake a song or how to remake a beat in fi studio let's say you have your favorite song and you want to remake it i will show you in this video and the method i will show you today is a method in which you can remake it without using a midi controller or let's say you don't know how to play uh your keyboard so if you're new to the channel subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so whenever we drop a video you wouldn't get to miss out now let's say I have a song that I want to remake and I like so much. Let's say I, I love this AKA song Stress Jonathan and I, I want to remake the beat. Let's first of all listen to the song. The love where I shower you You come they think you fit to fool me After that you go leave and then betray me Shabby you say you don't tire me After the love where I shower you You come they think you fit to fool me After that you go leave and then betray me First thing you need to know if you want to remake a bit Is to be able to detect the tempo of the song a method I can show you to remake a song. Firstly, you need to drop the song in FS Studio. We drop it on the playlist like this. So now this is a song we have dropped it on the playlist. So how do we detect the tempo? So what you do is you come here to this arrow here. You left click it and go to detect tempo. We click. We will show you a range. Most of the Afro beats are within this 75 to 150 range. So let's click and let's FS Studio detect the tempo for us. So wait for it to detect the tempo. If you look on our screen here, FS Studio have shown that our tempo here is 100 BPM. Now, if you read the note again, you say, would you like to set the project tempo to this value? Then it said, you might have to adjust this manually. Yes, we don't have issue with that. We click yes. Now, what we do need to do is to align it with our metronome. Let's put on our metronome. <laughs> It's not aligned with the metronome. Let's assign it to a missile track. I've assigned it to the missile track. So what I'll do is uh, I'll bring down the volume a bit so I can hear what I'm doing clearly. Now I want to align it to play with our metronome. So what we'll do, come here, snap the grid to one is to six like that. And let's just cut this part and listen. Now there's the delay. Let's cut it again and listen. Okay, I think we still need a little. So since we are out of snapping, because if we snap like this, we've chopped the beginning. Let's snap it back to none and try to cut it like this. So let's listen with our metronome and see. Okay, I think it has aligned now with our metronome. So I can just switch out the metronome. Let's say you may begin with drums or you may begin with uh, the melodies. Let's say in this case, we want to begin with the drums. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just loop an area. Maybe we'll loop this intro. So we go to a, a, a pattern mode. We are in a pattern. So what we'll do now is uh, let's rename our first pattern to be rim. So let's do this rim short. Like that. And we'll place it on the... So what we'll do now, we'll go to, you can go to your pack and begin to select your, your drums, okay? So you can just go to your sample pack and select, go to your rim here, if we can get any rim shot. Okay, let's try it. Let's use this first rim. Let's try this one. What we'll do is to play and listen. So let's go. So we'll put this. So you just do it like this, follow it. So you just come here, you extend it like this and be saving your project, okay? When I listen to this song, I can hear that percussion and shaker. Or you can go to your, your drum packs and look for any shaker. So let's see if we have any shaker. Let's see if uh, this one is good. So we placed it here. So the next thing is to just play along. 
So now if I bring it like this, let's see. They just you just do something like this. So I think we are done with our shaker. We just extend it the length we want. So let's listen to the project again. So let's look for a kick. We go to FS Studio Pack like this and look for maybe vintage and let's let's see if we can get a kick. Okay, I think we'll use this one. Let's get a kick. So let's just do it for a step. So now we'll just paste that with the beat. So don't look me like zombie. Don't play with me. I think we've gotten our kick. So when I listen, I think I can hear Kunga inside. So you can just go in and look for Kunga. Let's see this one. So as you can see, I'm doing it manually. I know it's using any MIDI keyboard we are using. We are writing the notes. So let's get look for nice position. I know below do watch. I know below do watch. I know below do watch. So I think I hear kung kung. I know below do watch. I know below do watch. So I hear kung kung. So, I know below do watch be don't play with me. I don't think I hear this here. So. I know below do watch be don't I'm here kung 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 kung. So I just duplicate it. I think we are done with the drum section. The next thing is for us to try to build our melody. The next thing is for us to look for the chord progression of the song. Now we don't know how to play keyboard. We don't know anything about chord progression. So how do we do it? Let's look for any VST. Let's get flex. We'll go to essential guitar. Essential guitar and let's select this one. Let's look at section. So let's listen. In this case, we don't know the key of the song. So we try to fish out the key with this method. We go to our piano row. I've opened flex, this is essential guitar. Okay, now let's play and try to figure out. Just drop the note anywhere. You listen very closely. So what you do is just to screw around. It's still out of the key. It shows that's not a key. Okay, I think that's the key. Listen again. Listen closely. So I can hear meaning is going downward. So let's just. So if you are not getting it, just step down until you get the right one. It's off. So let's do the next one. Just just listen to it and figure it like that. Let's go. Now it matches. So let's listen to the last to complete the progression. Yeah. Mm, just put your note and walk through it because you don't know the progression. That's simple. We are writing it. You hear that? Just do that. Let's listen now. I think this is the chord progression. What we do is just to duplicate it. You can take it an octave and listen if it works. Octave down. So it's an octave lower. What you can do is you can just lower the velocity, play with the velocity, just something like that, and you just play with the velocity. Uh, this method I'm using on this video is a method which you don't have a MIDI keyboard. So on a MIDI keyboard, you can play. But here we don't have a MIDI keyboard. That's what we consider. And try to listen to what we hear and try to uh, try to play it. So, so you hear just go around and play with it. So you do ping ping, you see. So that's what you do. You just play. So 
you can still do if it's been being released. Just take your time and be writing the notes. So let me listen to this. So the next thing I hear, I think I hear, uh, I think I hear string. So what we'll do, you can just uh, go to, you can just look for a string. So let's try to see if we can get any orchestra that we can use. Let's try this, maybe this one. So what I want to do, I just, since we're hearing that string, so we'll just do the root note. Let's take it an octave higher like this. So let's listen. So let's try to add some. Okay, let's do something like this. So the only thing I can hear in this intro again is just that sound playing the Jonathan. So I can hear just the oh, ru, ru. let's say we cannot figure out that particular instrument for now. Let's go to keyboard. You can just get uh, something like this, or uh, maybe the piano, or maybe this one. I think it's a woodwind sound, but for now, I don't think we'll be able to figure the particular one. So if you go to a piano roll, so let's see. You can just do it like this. So, so we'll just do some. So, up. So you just fine tune it and see the position. Do something like this. Long time Long time You can just uh, slide it. Okay. Just put it here. So far, we have this. So our next instrument is a uh, kalimba. We're just loading this purity. We'll go to a preset here on impurity and. I think we'll use that kalimba. So I think we are done with our kalimba. So let's do a sub. What we'll use for the sub, let's go, let's just load our DS10. We go here, look for a preset. Then we'll try FM sub, or let's try this. Uh, let's just use this E flute to create our sub. Let's hear how it sounds. Oh, well, let's, let's go downward. So what I hear, let's follow it. I hear, mm. So what we'll do, we'll just go down. Okay, let's try this. So to make it easy, you can just go to your kalimba here. So you can go to kalimba and you copy all this, the root note of your kalimba here. So 
so I think we've got our intro sub. So now we are done with our sub. Uh, let's just listen to our sub. Okay, now we are done with our sub. So what we'll do is, uh, let me just pat in it, guys. Then we'll just listen to what we have so far. So in your own case, you listen very well and mimic what you hear. Let me just pat in it and get back to you guys. So we'll be back. Okay, now I'm done patterning this. So uh, let's just hear what we have so far. I'm just little section so we hear what we have so far. So let's let's listen to what we have so far. guys that's what we have so far i believe now you can understand that you can even do your beat in fs studio without you having a midi controller and also even if you don't have a you don't have any idea on how to play your keyboard you are still good to go i am mary again from phantom production so if you're new to the channel subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell so whenever i upload content you wouldn't get to miss out and thanks for watching stay tuned